Hello there again. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about how to fine tune Counter Snipe in this session. So, very quickly, what you have is you, once you install Counter Snipe, you get the aggregate position here, a number of, a number of events. You can, events. This is not alerts, not emails, but just the IDS events in the last five minutes, last hour, last day. Um, and you get the total number of events here. And then you get each IDS IPS sensor. So, you can have multiple. IDS IPS sensors here and you can look at their position by looking at the compliance summary so if I go look at the compliance summary on the on the aggregate here it will show me all of the detail and you can actually drill further down into other bits here so so you can look at what is happening with your diff with your different machines and if something hits you hard here you can actually say okay I want to go in and investigate that further and you can drill down but we're going to look at fine-tuning so what, what we have to do is once you actually got the system running you can do a broad, big deployment by going to classifications and maybe set everything to alert or maybe set everything to drop, you know, depending on your policies. Or when, if you start off by setting everything to alert, and you can always change that rule set. So you set everything to alert. And then to fine tune, what you do is you go into the sensor, you look at the view, okay, and then you look at the current rules. And the current rules looks at um, one by one. Um, um, yeah, every rule and its, its current state, so whether it's set to alert, disable, pass, or whatever, whatever its current state uh, may be. And you have also have all the other tabs on top. You, know, you have DNS, where you can set the DNSs. You can set the email configuration as to who, to, who the alerts should go to. Mode allows you to set the mode of the, the system, whether you want IDS mode or IPS mode, and so on. So in your current rules, what you can do, you've got a number of ways. One is that you know the applications that you're running on your system. Although, in the learn operation, our system can actually perform that for you. But, say you know that you've got a uh, number of applications in your system, or you've got something that you fear, you know, something like, maybe, say for example, you fear uh, one of the um, uh, one of the, the malware stuff uh, is called Black Energy, so I'm going to search for that, so Black Energy, okay? I'm going to say, okay, don't be case sensitive, just just look for any, uh, whichever way the black energy word is spelled with that. So if I search the rules in that, this will search through the entire database, so it doesn't care about the groups of the rules, classifications that they belong to, whatever the rule might be. Now, the benefit of this is that if a rule happens to be wrongly classified, or if a rule happens to be in the wrong group, but you think you are, it's, in, it's in policies, but it's not in policies, then this will go and find that rule. Okay? And then you can take a bulk action or individual rule access, uh, action on those, on those set of rules. Okay? So when this search comes back, which, is, which it has done now, so we have it here. We see it here that the globally the rule is disabled. At the group level, the actions don't matter. They are irrelevant. Uh, because there's nothing set. At the sensor level, there's nothing set. Therefore, the final action of these rules is, is set to global. So what I want to do is I want to say, okay, black energy rules, really what I want to do is I want to change those those rules and I want to select change that action to drop because I want to get rid of that because this is not something I want on my network. Okay? So this sensor has to be in line, of course, if you want to do that. So I will change that rules change that set of rules to drop rules okay so what would happen is if you look at the top now where it says zero and reject zero and alert 1154 these rules will produce a number here at the drop equivalent to the number of rules that i'm actually uh, changing the action on now these things take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your thing i am actually running on a virtual machine on my desktop they use the wireless network card that I'm talking to the internet, talking to the world, doing this uh, presentation, as well as actually doing this, uh, uh, checking up the, 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 the rules uh, individually. So it looks at all of that. So if I refresh this screen, uh, resend the request, it will recount, and it will come back with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the renewed numbers um, over here. And that's how you actually fine-tune fine -tune the system. You find the rules, you look at its current action, 
and you, you can and you can change the action and you can individually pick those rules and change the action on each one as well so I could just go to all of the alert rules display them pick up pick one up and disable it or change it okay going back to the other options here while while it's it's recounting the the numbers so you have this options here then you have the alerts tab classifications here where you can actually at the sensor level determine the classifications and uh, signature levels the num uh, numbers are back but I'll go back to that in a minute our signature level so you can actually configure fine-tune here um, and then um, so here if you look at it once we actually configured it we've got number 20 so that means we've we enabled 20 of those rules now if I look at those by clicking at that 20 if I display those 20 rules you will see that the action on those rules is set to draw um, and that is how you find a rule so whether it's like but if you haven't got Oracle, maybe you don't want any of the Oracle rules enabled. So that way you can actually set all of the rules to alert and then go in there and disable the Oracle rules uh, by selecting that. Uh, or as in this case, I want to make sure that any rules that um, matching um, uh, black energy um, are, uh, are set to, to draw. And, and and that's so and that is how you will uh, you will go in and change the action on individual rules you can actually access all of this um, by clicking on learn and then change things in learn operation 2 I am determined to show you that those 20 will come back and uh, and, and give us a give us a display of their current um, status. In the meantime, what I want to say is thank you for listening to me and you can go on our website countersnipe.com um, and take a look at um, uh, the Countersnipe product in detail uh, and you can also trial it in your own environment um, and you can even trial it on a virtual machine like I am doing. I am using Oracle VirtualBox just to fill in the gap. I'm using Oracle, Oracle Virtual Box and then Ubuntu on that on a Windows 8.1 64-bit Windows 8.1 running here and then I've got Ubuntu 32-bit installed on an Oracle Virtual Box okay and then my wireless adapter is being used as a management interface which this is and also an IDS sensor so here we have it the 20 rules that were to do with black energy we changed their state to drop uh, and you have uh, enhanced the security of your network by this thank you for watching